family, peace, and love. It's your boy Chris Lightning coming back again with some more spiritual videos. And today I'm going in on consistency versus intensity. This is a banger family. I see too many people afflicted with this. I was once afflicted with this. I just started everything hard. Hard. And then I would just burn myself out and would complete nothing. I have all these dreams of grandeur. I start projects, go in hard, and never finish. I had intensity, but I didn't have consistency. As I matured spiritually, I realized it's better to be consistent versus intense. Like, I like to do a little bitty things every day that's effortless. And over time, I get the job done. Like with my book, Wealth Consciousness, Poverty Consciousness, The Enlightened Taught. All those books, I took my time with. I wrote like one page a day. Every day though, I would write like one page. If I wasn't writing a page, I would edit one page. I don't want to do too much because if you do too much, you go like, I'm tired the next day. The next day it turned to a week. A week will turn to a month and you're burnt out. You'll start being intense again. You do that for like two, three days, and then you're tired for the rest of the week. It's kind of like a weightlifter or a UFC fighter. If you're working out every day of the week a little bit versus working out one day real hard, you work out that one day and rest three days because you're sore, you're burnt out. And then on that sixth day, you work out again, and then you wait three more days because you're burnt out. So in the course of a week, you've only worked out twice. But... Instead of being intense and burning yourself out, you can work out a little bit Monday, a little bit Tuesday, a little bit Wednesday, a little bit Thursday, and so on. So you've worked out seven days that week. You know what I mean, family? So instead of working out like four hours, you could have worked out seven short hours, one hour a day. So I want you to apply that methodology with everything you do. Don't look at the daunting task ahead of you. Break that down. My teacher, Miss Dixon, Miss Dixon, when I was in fourth grade, she used to make us write these ten-page stories. And for a, for a fourth grader, that's that's a lot. And I was like, Miss Dixon, ten pages? She was like, What's wrong with ten pages? And I would say something. She's like, You know what, Chris? You write fifteen. And I was like, What is she doing to me? But what she taught me was consistency. She'd give me a thirty-day deadline. And she taught me how to be an eloquent, great writer because of it. I had the same content spread out. So I would just write a little bit every day. And I want you guys to do the same. Start being consistent. Love yourself enough to win. A lot of people don't even love themselves enough to win for themselves. Forget everybody else. Do it for yourself. It's such a rewarding feeling to complete a task that you've done over a long period of time. I don't think a lot of people have done things like that. Okay, you go to school, you graduate, you go to college, you graduate, and you're done. That's not a fulfilling life. That's not a fulfilling life, family. The creator creates. He doesn't create and just stop creating. He's creating all the time. I want you guys to expand your consciousness enough to know that you deserve whatever it is you want out of life. Whatever it is, you can have it. I know it sounds cliche. But it's true. You just got to believe it consistently. Don't think about it intense for one day. I want to be a millionaire. And don't think about it no more. Monday, I want to be a millionaire. Tuesday, who are millionaires I aspire to be like? Wednesday, you know what? I'm going to start reading the book. Friday, you know, I'm going to write me a business plan. Saturday, this business plan. Edit your business plan. Do a little bit every day. Have a plan. Be consistent with your plan. Check all things. I'm a type of dude that I got a mind that I can check, make a mental note. My penmanship sucks. So I don't even like to read my own stuff. So I type it down or I just remember it in my head. And I always tell other people my goals. I don't tell them like, hey, I'm going to fly to the moon or nothing like that. But I tell them about the end product. Yeah, I got a book dropping in six months. Be on the lookout. Strangers. Because I realize that if I get enough collective people to consciously believe in what I'm doing, it's going to fuel me to do. That's my method. That's the method that I use. I like to use the power of the collective consciousness to 
evoke energy and downloads and wins in my life. I like to manipulate people in a positive way to help me, to benefit me. I want you guys to start doing that too. People call it lying. I call it foretelling. I'm foretelling what I'm going to do. I may not have started today. When I, last year, when I, when I started telling people about wealth consciousness, I hadn't even finished my first book, Poverty Consciousness, yet. But I was like, yeah, I got a book, Poverty Consciousness. Mm, wealth Consciousness sounds good. I got another book coming out called Wealth Consciousness. And now I'm done with it. I got a next book, another book called Relationship Consciousness. Haven't even started on it, but it's coming out soon, family. Why? Because I said so. Start saying so. You know what I mean, family? I want you to win. I want you to get excited like I am. That's what I'm good at, getting people hyped up. Are you hyped up on your own self? That's going to be my next video. Are you hyped up? I'm hyped right now. It's early. I woke up at 540. Everybody sleep. Because winners get up and get that worm. I'm hungry. I want to eat. I like to eat good. I'm tired. Yeah, I only got four hours of sleep. I can sleep when I die. I'm ready to win. Are you ready to win? What are you willing to wake up for? What are you willing to wake up for earlier than anybody else and win? Are you ready to be consistent? Start doing it. Unsubscribe to everybody else. Subscribe to me only. <laughs> I'm just playing, family. But I'm so serious. On that note, family, peace and love. It's Chris Enlightened. I'm a little tired right now, but I'm winning. I'm not going to edit this video. I just speak on what the guys tell me to do. I want you guys to be more consistent. I want you all to be more intense. And um, I want you to use your intensity in a consistent way if you're going to be intense. There's nothing wrong with being intense. There's nothing wrong with going hard in what you love to do. But I'd rather you be consistent. I don't want you to get burnt out. I don't want you to get mentally sore. It's not fun when you do it like that. It's fun when you do a little bit and reap the reward. Work smart, not harder. Okay, family? And on that note, peace and love. Winning!